It's volume equals one third the area of the base times the height. So when you see that capital B, it means the area of the bottom times the height. Now you don't want to get confused. When you do surface area, you're using the slant height. You can, it's usually used um, the letter L for the slant height. That's the angled height or the leaning height. Here we want the perpendicular height, the perpendicular distance from the center of the base to the vertex here. That's the overall height, okay? Same thing with the cone. We're going from the center of the base, okay, perpendicular to the, the vertex right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this example of the pyramid. Now, one thing I wanted to show you is that if you put this pyramid, okay, in a box, okay, like this, okay, can you visualize this here? If you put it in a box, this pyramid would only take up a third of the volume of that box. So if the bases were the same, the height was the same, because of the pyramid is like, you know, on a diagonal, it's angled up, okay, like this, you could actually fit two more of these pyramids in there. Granted, you have to cut them up or, uh, you know, divide them up somehow so that they would, you know, fit in all those uh, empty spaces there. So this is only taking up a third. That's where you can see the thirds coming from there. But let's go ahead and do this. So it's volume equals one third Okay, area of the base. Now the base here you can see is a square, so it's gonna be eight times eight, so that's 64, times the overall height. So we don't want this height here. Sometimes they'll give you this. Okay, we don't want that one, we want 10. And so there you go. So it's one third times 64 times 10. That's gonna give you your volume and that's gonna be in units cubed. Okay, the next one is a cone. Okay, so a cone, it's the exact same formula. I like to kind of group my formulas together like this so there's less to memorize, and you might want to do the same thing too. So cones and pyramids kind of have the same shape, right? Just a different kind of a base. So you just have to think, okay, this is a circle. What's the area of a circle? Pi r squared, okay, so that's the base right there, times the height, and we want this perpendicular height, not the slant height. Okay, the radius is five, so we have pi times five squared, so that's pi times 25, times one third, times the height, which is 10. So if you multiply all that together, that's gonna to give you your volume in units cubed. Now, just a quick note, sometimes students get a little bit, um, you know, tripped up on the fractions. You can think of any whole number as a fraction by putting it over one. So you would multiply all the numerators, all the denominators, and then you would divide. So in this case, that's 25 times 10 is 250 times pi, so that's 250 pi. If we want an exact answer, if you want a rounded answer, just use 3.14 for pi. And then three times one times one times one is three. And there you go, that's an exact answer. But again, you could make pi 3.14, divide, get a decimal, and round. But this is exact.